Step 3. Creating a 3D Document In this step, we will present the power of 3D documentation. ARCHICAD's 3D documents combine the advantages of both 2D and 3D worlds. They make it possible to create fully annotated and dimensioned 3D drawings to greatly improve the understanding of the construction document set. Activate the first preset view located in the Creating 3D Documents folder of the Navigator view map. Select the Marquee tool in the toolbox. Select the Rectangular Geometry in all floor selection methods. Draw a selection area between labels 1.1 and 1.2. Right click and select Show Selection Marquee in 3D from the context menu. The 3D window displays a section through the gallery in the staircase. Now let's create a so-called 3D document. This is a great feature of ARCHICAD to improve the understanding of the construction documents. Switch to the project map in the navigator. Right-click on the 3D documents container and select the new 3D document from the appearing context menu. In the appearing dialog, enter 3D01 for reference ID and enter Gallery Stair 3D section for name. Finally, click the Create button to proceed. The 3D document is generated and displayed on the screen. Right-click on an empty area and select 3D Document Settings from the Context menu to take a quick look at the main settings of this document type. The general panel displays the ID, name, and status of the 3D document. It also enables you to redefine the 3D document if necessary. The model display panel is similar to those of the sections and elevations dialogs. We've selected a limestone colored material for all surfaces cut by the marquee. All uncut lines are set to be displayed with a uniform middle gray color. Transparency is enabled but vectorial 3D hatching and vectorial sun shadows are disabled in this exercise. Click Cancel to leave the dialog. ARCHICAD's 3D documents combine the advantages of both 2D and 3D worlds. They make it fully possible to create fully annotated and dimensioned 3D drawings to greatly improve the understanding of the construction document set. Activate the next preset view in the Navigator view map. Switch to the Dimension tool in the toolbox. Activate the Linear DIM 4 Favorite in the Favorites palette. Make sure that the appropriate dimension construction method and geometry method are selected in the info box. Move your mouse cursor over the cut parapet wall corner pointed to by label 1.1. Click the corner when the intersection cursor shape appears. This will add the clicked point to the 3D dimension chain. Click the other two corners at label 1.2 and 1.3 in the same manner to select them for dimensioning. Right click and choose OK from the context menu to finish selecting points to be dimensioned. ARCHICAD's dimensioning input logic helps to define graphically where you wish to place the 3D dimension line. Move your mouse around various surfaces and watch how the ghost line changes to show various locations in various 3D planes. Click at the point of label 1.4 to place the 3D dimension. A new 3D dimension line was created with two dimension units. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Shift-click to select the previously created dimension. With the dimension selected and the dimension tool active, Control-click on Windows or Command-click on Macintosh, the slab corner node near the point of label 1.1. Dimension the slab corner nodes near the point of label 1.2 in this manner. 
scroll down and pan in the 3D document to add more notes to the dimension line. Add all nodes near the points of labels 1.3 to 1.10. We are basically dimensioning slab thicknesses and story heights. Make sure that the dimension line is selected throughout this operation. Control or command clicking any point having a dimension line selected will add the clicked point to the selected dimension chain. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Make sure that the dimension tool is still selected in the toolbox. Activate the linear DIM5 favorite in the list. Create a new 3D dimension line similarly as you did it before. Notice that this dimension chain is not the linear, but the elevation dimension type. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Select the dimension you just created, and add the dimension points marked by the labels as you did in the case of the previous dimension chain. As you can see, the elevation dimension markers and the dimension text are aligned with the perspective slope of the horizontal levels they dimension. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Activate the linear DIM4 favorite again. Create a new dimension line by clicking on the nodes at label 1.1 to 1.3. Finally, choose OK from the context menu and place the dimension line on the vertical plane at label 1.4. You will need one click to determine the plane and one more at label 1.4 to place the dimension. Select the newly placed dimension line and add new dimension points to the chain. The dimension points to be added are marked by the labels up to label 10. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Switch to the text tool in the toolbox. Activate the text 1 favorite in the favorites. Double-click at the point of label 1.1 to open the text editor box. Type Entrance into the text box and place it on the 3D document. Create other text elements. Always start by double-clicking at the points of label 1.2 to 1.10. Click outside the text editor box to place the text. Enter the text as it's presented in this video tutorial. Enter gallery appointed by label 1.3. Enter flat roof appointed by label 1.4. Enter the name of the floors appointed by the labels 1.5 through 1.9. Enter Staircase, appointed by label 1.10. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Switch to the Label tool in the toolbox. Activate the Label 1 favorite in the Favorites list. To create a label, you need to click three times to define the shape and length of the label's leader. Do so by clicking consecutively on labels 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. The label is created, but the label text is not appropriate. 
We can modify the text instantly. Shift-click the label to select it, and click on its text when the text editor cursor shape appears. Double-click to select the current text, and start typing the appropriate text. Type flat glazing for the text of the first label. Click outside the text editor box to complete the operation. The newly entered text will automatically delete the text you selected, just like in a word processor application. Create four more labels by clicking three times each at label 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3, then labels 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3, and so on. Modify the label text of each label to reflect the 3D element they refer to. Enter the label text as presented in this video tutorial. Enter M profile beams for label 2. Enter curtain wall shaders for label 3. Enter curtain wall for label 4. Enter M profile columns for label 5. Activate the next preset view in the view map. Switch to the marquee tool in the toolbox. Draw a rectangular marquee with its diagonal from label 1.1 to label 1.2. Switch to the Text tool and select the Edit Select All Text in Marquee menu item to select the text elements within the marquee. Select the Edit Align Left menu item to align the left side of all text. Notice that the selected text elements are now aligned so that their left side falls onto the same vertical line. With the text elements still selected, activate the Edit Distribute along Y menu item to distribute the text elements evenly along the Y axis of the 3D section. The two extreme text elements remain in their position while all intermediate selected text elements are distributed evenly between the two. Press the Escape key twice to deselect the selected text elements and remove the marquee. Finally, right click an empty area and select Fit in Window from the context menu to see the complete 3D document.